Hello, my name is Louie and I'm with Premier RV of Oregon and today we're going to talk about a 32-foot Country Coach Intrigue that just came in. And as you can see, we always are looking for nice, well-maintained, used diesels in our luxury showroom here in Junction City, Oregon. So if you're thinking about selling your coach, we would love to sell it for you. So we got the 32 footer outside. It's a beautiful day here in Oregon. Uh, we're asking $99,999. Uh, it's a 2002 32 footer 400 ISL Cummins. So this thing will really get up and go down the road. Uh, it's the type of coach that people really search for because it's a coach that you could take anywhere. As you can see, we're, we're right by the Willamette River here in Oregon. Like I said, they're pretty rare, they're pretty hard to find. Um, but you get the bigger tires, the 12Rs, Michelin's here. Um, they got the big quickie step. Uh, all the country coaches from 2000 and newer are gonna have the independent front suspension. So this coach will turn at 50 degrees on the front end. So even on the 32 footers, they're actually gonna be on the semi monocoque chassis made by Country Coach, which is called the Dynamax chassis. So that eliminates the twisting, the flexing. It's gonna have all the cross members down below. It gives you that incredible ride. Right here is gonna be the propane tank. So that's gonna run the refrigerator and the cooktop. Uh, it's gonna have a dual fill. This holds 110 gallons of diesel. You can fill it from either side. You'll look at the paint. Of course, it's always the Sickens paint with Country Coach. It's all full body paint. These are not decals, this is actually real paint. Fiberglass doors, so they insulate really well. And you're gonna get one full pass-through bay of storage. You have the zip the awning chairs. Uh, these are covers for the front windshield. And uh, the original owner had um, exterior ladder to clean the windshield. This is actually a one owner coach, 100,000 miles, one owner. So it's been very well maintained. In this bay, we're gonna have your hydronic heater. So that's gonna give you a really good heating system inside the coach. And it also is supplemented with a 10 gallon hot water heater off electric or propane actually. So um, back here is gonna be your batteries. You're going to have two house batteries and then one cranking battery. But I really like the awnings. This is a Gerard electric awning with the wind sensor. So it gives you a great coverage out here in your patio area on this beautiful day. <laughs> This is going to be a little service center. You have your disconnects for your house and your chassis, uh, some fuses, and of course your diesel filters for the engine. This 32 footer is powered with the 8.9 liter ISL 400 Cummins. So this is definitely going to get up the hills real easy. Um, everything's looking great back here. We have the coolant reservoir here, the hydraulic power steering reservoir over here. You could stop the engine from here. And as you can see, everything looks really well. Again, it's a one owner coach and it's been very well maintained. Uh, over here, you're gonna notice also on all the Country Coach Dynamax chassis, you're gonna have the side mounted radiator. Gives you a little bit better access to your engine when you're servicing it and everything. Uh, pull down awnings, 
Uh, bronze tenant windows, which are really nice on all the country coaches. Here's your plumbing bay. So you got your black and gray flushes there. Um, outside shower, and you can fill your fresh water from right here. And it also has a no fuss flush for the black tank, so you can clean your tanks. Water pumps back there. And this, and here you got your shore cord. It's electric. Water filter is there. So pretty good storage for a 32 footer. And as you can see the height with the slide room being above the floor, it's very good access to get underneath to your belongings. Uh, as all country coaches, basically when this comes in, it's gonna fit flush to the side wall of the coach. So there's no exterior flange or anything like that. On this bay, we're gonna have the generator and it's gonna be the Onan 8000. So that'll run both of the roof airs. You have 13,500 BTUs for heat pumps and you also have AC. And you could start it from here if you want or inside the coach. Gotta like these fiberglass doors, they shut really nice. Uh, there's the other side of the dual fill, 110 gallons on this. Uh, in this bay, you're gonna have your hydraulic mechanism for the HWH slide room. And you're gonna have some fuses and some leveling, a little compressor, so if it gets out of level, this will actually automatically level the coach. Boy, everything's in really, really good shape. Front of the coach, we took the coach armor off. So it's almost like brand new here on the paint. All right, we'll go inside and see what you think. So we finally made it to the inside of the coach. Uh, as you can see, it's a great little floor plan. They call it a cook's dream. It has one slide here. And I really like the one slide uh, back in 2002, you had a choice to have another slide on this side, but it really affected your seating. You couldn't have the table and chairs. You had to have more of a U dinette. And then you couldn't have the recliner and a little computer station here. Um, also, it would affect your outside patio because of that slide room. You couldn't put a Gerard awning out there. Uh, you would just have a conventional Zip D manual awning. So I really like the Gerard electric awning. That really, really helps out with your patio area. So pretty cool. Uh, this coach has an upgraded walnut cabinets. Standard was oak back then. It's all solid wood again, like every country coach, all the raised panel doors. Uh, some upgrades that have been done on the coach, there's been quite a bit. Again, this is a one owner coach. It's been very well maintained and taken care of. But one of the best upgrades was this TV right here. They went to a flat screen. Back in 2002, you would have a big yoke TV right here that would stick out really far. And it was always a problem when people would walk into the coach with their hats on and they'd come in and just smack the crap out of that wood uh, that housed the TV. So. This resets it back quite a bit and uh, gets it to the modern era as far as TVs. So on this side of the coach, you're gonna have your conventional sofa right here. It's fabric and it makes it to a jackknife bed. This comes all the way down. Uh, there's a little bit of storage underneath here. Uh, they got rid of the living room carpet and they went with a floor right here, a wood floor. And then on this side, you're gonna have the computer desk. So this is a little area for a little laptop and stuff, or printer, I guess. A little storage and then a file drawer here. A little recliner and then it's gonna have the wall module, which came out in about 2002. So you're gonna get some added storage down below here. These are all Corian countertops. And of course, more storage up here. You can 
see how everything's so solid. The day and night shades. And then over here on the kitchen, you're going to have the stainless sink with these covers right here. Uh, quite a bit of storage too. Um, also, we'll move this out of the way, but it's going to have a two burner cooktop propane. Little spice rack area here. Then as you can see, you're going to have quite a bit of storage and drawers and stuff here. And they did a custom little pull-out tray here. That's nice. And then you'll have a little bit more storage underneath the sink area here. A little trash can here. Nice light there too. All right, I think this is a 10 cubic foot Dometic refrigerator. And more drawer space underneath here. And here it's gonna have an area for the washer dryer combo. And then it's got some good wardrobe space here. And then another wardrobe here. Got a little light here. A little cedar cabinet on top there. That's a little area for the leaf for the table. And I think down below here is gonna be to get to the hot water heater. So the hot water heater is propane and electric. It's a 10 gallon hot water heater. That'll give you a good amount of hot water for your showers and everything. And here you're gonna have your shower. The water closet. Good storage in there. Uh, right here, a little bit more storage. And as we get back to the back bedroom, you're going to see a couple pocket doors here. So these close off these areas here. There's a lock right here. And then these are nice walnut wood sliders. All solid wood again. They just don't build them like this anymore. Um, back here, you got your queen size bed, forward facing, and then lots of storage up here. Good little nightstands here with a little storage here. You're going to have all your breakers right here for your roof airs, your hot water heater, your inverter, and all that good stuff. And then more storage. And then over here, this is just a little bit, a mirror and some hanging for clothes. The bed actually lifts up. And everything Country Coach does, they always finish everything. I mean, that's, they do nice work. A little bit of storage here, looks like some patio chairs. That's access to the engine. Um, Hopefully you'll never have to go there. And then uh, of course, drawer space here. And there's another drawer over here. And there'll be another one here. So as you can see, lots of storage. They've upgraded this bedroom TV back here also to a flat screen Samsung. And then a little bit of storage here. A couple extra fluorescent lights. Then up at the dash, they've upgraded the backup camera and your stereo. Your slide room controls are here. We'll shut him off. Uh, your air leveling system, you just push here, it's all computerized. You push this button twice, it'll level the coach. Uh, you have an outside thermostat. 
and a direction here. The silver leaf is really cool. It gives you all your monitoring of your engine and your transmission, miles per gallon and stuff like that. Uh, smart wheel. So for your wipers, cruise control, all that's real handy all being right here. And then of course the six speed Allison transmission pads right here. So as you can see, the driver and passenger seats are in great condition. No dogs, no cats. One owner, very well maintained, very well taken care of. Very rare coach to find in this type of condition, uh, being a 32 footer. Um, if you're interested in this coach, just call us at 541-998-2640. And again, please hit the subscribe button it doesn't cost you any money. Uh, we'll be doing as many videos as we can here in the next couple weeks. And we appreciate you viewing all of our coaches that we have in inventory. Thank you.